Welcome to the Zoom Player Control Bar Introduction video. In this video, we'll show you how to use the control bar. To show the control bar, you can press space, or you can access it through the control bar menu, which we'll show in a minute. There are two types of buttons on the control bar. You have static button, like the volume button, and the close button, which just hides the control bar. This is the timeline area. Our current position is here, as you can see. You can left click anywhere in the timeline area to seek there. For example, seek here, here, here. Or you can right click ahead or back of the current position to seek a few seconds ahead, like this, or a few seconds back, like this. To access the control bar options, you can middle click the control bar timeline area or the main user interface timeline area. For example, right now all the dynamics button are hidden, so I'll unhide them as you can see and I'll remove some of them. Right now you can see which buttons are visible. I will hide the eject button. Poof, gone. I'll hide some other button, maybe the exit player button, gone. And I'll just hide all, all of them. There we go. Other options available through the, the control bar menu are uh, which information shows up within the timeline area. Right now we're only showing uh, the position. This is the current position. And this is the duration, which is enabled here. We can also show the play state, and you can see we're currently paused, or we can play a little bit, it says playing. Then uh, we can also show how much time is remaining. We have three minutes remaining, five seconds. And you can show the video resolution right now. You see it's 640 by 480. You can show the playing file name or in DVD mode it will show you the track data. You can show the current time. This is bas basically a clock. You can show the idle state. This is a, a message that only shows when you're not playing any media file and it will show media mode or audio mode etc. You can align the control bar within the interface, which is right now, or you can align it to the top of the screen or the bottom of the screen. You can disable the control bar so it wouldn't show in window mode, basically limiting it to full screen mode. You can detach the control bar from the user interface, like this. This is very useful when you want to play a video full screen on one monitor and still be, be able to control the video uh, from another monitor. So just by dragging the control bar to a separate monitor, you can do that. Next, you can set the control bar to appear relative to the video area rather than the window area. For example, see here? You can prevent the control bar from moving off screen. This is used in rare circumstances where you define full screen as only being uh, a part of the actual screen resolution, uh, usually done with CRT TVs. And when zooming in, you can cause the control bar to move off screen in such a mode. This is rarely, rarely used in today's world when you have plasma and LCD TVs. Here in this section you control how the uh, control bar appears. You can have it appear when seeking, you can have it appear when pressing play or pressing pause or rewinding and fast forwarding. Uh, you can have the control bar automatically showed when the mouse is moved over it. It automatically uh, disappears after three seconds by default. Uh, when the mouse is uh, stopped or you can have the, uh, the control bar shown 
where mo when moving the mouse cursor to the bottom of the screen. And here you can toggle the control bar. This is also accessible from here. And basically that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video and continue watching our other tutorials.